as you can see, sports fans, uh, I have uh, had to switch to a different camera because something went wrong with my other camera, or at least the device to send the signal into the computer. So uh, we're on plan number two here. The graph translation theorem. We're talking about moving functions around. So we're starting with these things called parent functions, of which y equals squared is one of them. And sometimes they refer to this as a pre-image. And then we're going to be applying a translation rule. Now, a little bit later, I'll do an example with points. But you can do it with points or a function. Okay, And we're going to develop this translation rule. Now, the image equation, what happened after we used the translation rule, after we took the equation and shifted it, I want to make sure you pronounce the up in there, then you, uh, you get this equation. y plus 3 equals the quantity x minus 2 squared, or x minus 2 quantity squared, however you want to say that. Now, my question to you is this. What would you need to replace the x with so that you could get back to just plain x? In other words, what would you put in for x which would replace, which would cause this minus 2 to disappear? Well, I'm hoping that you would all say x plus 2. Because if that were the case, then plus 2 and minus 2 would cancel out. What would you replace y with so that you could get rid of that 3 and get back to just plain old y? Hopefully you would say y minus 3. In other words, what you just came up with, those replacements right there, are the is the definition of the rule. Now when I say rule, I'm saying what is happening to the function? Are we going left? Are we going right? Are we going up? Are we going down? The rule never ever lies. The rule never ever lies. It always tells the truth. So this says right to This says down 3. The rule never, ever, ever lies. So, whatever you would substitute to get you back to the beginning, that's what the rule said. And that's what really happened. The rule tells you the truth about what happened. Now, I know when you look at this equation, it looks different. You see x minus 2, and that, that makes you think that it's going to the left. Well, in all reality, it's about what you have to replace x with in order to get back to the beginning, and that's how it really moved. Okay, What would you do to replace it to get back to the original? And that's the way that the movement actually happened. So, we'll practice with another one of those in here in a second. So what about points? What happens if you have a set of two points and you have a rule, a translation rule, that says write 1 and down 4? Well, it's pretty basic. Write 1 would add a 1 to the, the 2. You're just plugging in the 2 right here. Plugging in the 7 right there. So, down 3 would turn that point into this point. Right 1, down 5, or down 4 from the, five, from the negative 5. So, right 1, down 4. Okay, now... Here's an equation of uh, an image equation. 
Now, if you want to know the pre-image, that's, that's this question over here. What's the parent function? Um, in the lingo of the day, that's the same question as, who's your daddy? Okay, you can stop laughing now. So, I need to first isolate this x plus 2 quantity cubed. I need to isolate it. So, I'm going to subtract the 4 to the other side. And then I'm going to substitute to get back to that parent function. Okay? You should have been able to look at this and said it was y equals x cubed. So if I want to substitute to get back to that, what am I going to put in here for x? Well, I'm going to put x minus 2 in there. I'm sorry, put a comma. Um, what, did you, what were you going to put in there for y? y plus 4. So write the translation rule. The translation rule says x minus 2, oops, comma, y plus 4. This was left to right, or up, sorry, up 4. Now, what do I want you to do? I want you to sketch y equals 1 over x. I want you to draw any asymptotes as dotted lines. I want you to use this translation rule of x plus 4 and y minus 5, and I want you to sketch the new graph, including any new asymptotes. And lastly, I want to know what are the new asymptotes. So you make the equations of those and bring those to class in your notes. Talk to you then.